Hello, welcome to Ask the Accountant Pit Stop Podcast, where we're at Accountex 2023 in Manchester, and we have another cool representation for ourselves here as a guest. First of all, who are you, what do you do, and why are you here? So I'm Penny, I'm the Director of Wild Bookkeeping, and I'm here because I did a talk this morning on sustainability, so something that's really important to me. Definitely. And I think we'll talk about it today, but I feel like this account tax has kind of pushed that further and it'll be great to talk about it a little bit more. But first of all, we're in account tax north. Why account tax north? What do you feel about this particular um, conference that speaks to you? What is, what's that je ne sais quoi about this one? Well, first time I've been to account tax north. So I, oh, I, okay. I live in Essex. So yeah, yeah. that's um, a bit of a trek for you. Bit of a trek. So <laughs> it, it took me nine hours on Friday. So the M25, M1, M6, they weren't kind to us on Friday. No, I can imagine. Um, but Gavin Spencer invited me to come up here and talk about sustainability. Love and it. my son lives in Lancaster, so I've come up to combine it, visit him. Oh, and I got trained, trained down from there to here today. So it fitted in and dovetailed nicely. Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's Obviously, it's a lot smaller than Accountex London. Yes. But it feels, I don't know, a bit more intimate, easier to bump into Definitely. people, to talk yeah. to people. Yeah. Um, Still a huge selection of talks and every single one it's, do I go to this one, that one or the other one? Always clashes, isn't there? Yeah, yeah there's yeah. always clashes. Um, so yeah, no, it's been, been really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm glad, you know, for saying this is your first one. I think this is, you know, one of the best ones they've done. I feel they've always up in, right? You yeah. know it yourself. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, every part of this, I feel like the vendors have all come together. There's a lot of the talks have been absolutely amazing. Some of the, some of the conversation topics, like sustainability. Oh, it's been fantastic, yeah. Got, um, I know Rachel's about to finish off about parenthood. Yeah. Um, you know, accounting, but it's, it's just, yeah, it yeah. It's, just makes you feel proud, right, of being part it of does. it. It does, and, and I think there's so much more now. It's not just about accountancy. Exactly. People think it's really dull, but we're looking at things that are outside. So we're looking at sustainability. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is equality and um, inclusion this morning, talking yeah. about parenthood. Yeah, yeah so many different topics that are important to businesses in general. So I think there's always something you can take back for your clients as well as your own business. Exactly. Absolutely love it. And, and, and you know, long may it continue. All right. So what are you most looking forward to for the rest of the day? I know we've not got long left, but is there anything out there that you've got your eye on that you're looking forward to? Well, at the end of the day, so it's the after party oh, really is the thing to look forward to yeah, now. But yeah. um, no, I heard there's a DJ. I mean, no, that's wow. that's one up for that's Countdown up, North yeah, last year. Yeah. So, so uh, but no, it's just been really great bumping into just so many. It's lovely to meet friends, old and new. And it's been great, even though this is up north and very different for me. I've still seen loads of people that I know. Amazing. So it's been fantastic. Amazing. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Good seeing people in person. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And, and just that opportunity to just put those connections together has been mm -hmm. amazing. Um, okay. So what's been your highlights so far of the Countex 2023? Doing my talk this morning, I think. Uh, has to be. I can imagine. Yeah. How did yeah. it feel? Was it? It was, it was really good. Thoroughly yeah. enjoyed it. I um, have to say my opening slide was me in my swimming costume. And if you... If you told me six months or a year ago that I would have me in a super wow. costume on a big screen at Accountex, I'd have laughed at you. Impressive. Well done. But it well just done. felt the right slide for the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the talk and fitted in with everything. So, yeah. yeah. No, well it done. Was, it was, well, 11.15, so I could get that done and then just enjoy the afternoon. Love it. Love it's it. It's been great. Absolutely love it. Love it. Okay. So, these events, and I, I'm sure, you know, you've gone away from a lot of these events and I've done the same all these great ideas, everything's kind of gone through and you've, you've learned so much either from the talks or from a vendor. And then you've walked away from the event and not really done anything about it. It's kind of just fizzled out. Really easy to do. What's your big way or, or your, your recommendation? What's your way of going, right, I'm going to be accountable for this. I'm going to make sure that I go away from events like this and actually do something. What, what would you tell to any of the listeners out there? I think it's really important to, if there's something particular you're looking for, come with a shopping list and shop for that item. Yep. If not, I didn't have a particular shopping list for today. So yep. let's go around and find something new that you haven't looked at before. Now, I know from client surveys that I've done that, I mean, we've always had excellent results across the board from all of our clients, but our weak spot, if we've got one, is communication. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've had a look today and I found an app which will allow me to use WhatsApp, but with a dashboard so that everyone in the client can have a look, in, in the practice can have a look. I think I know which one you're on about. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So that's my my target now is to go back and look at that, see if that is actually going to work for us, have a demo, um, and then think about how we can bring that client communication score up. Amazing. So... From accountability's point of view, how are you going to implement that? What's what's your plan then? Have you got like a time frame in mind or anything like that? When you watch back this this podcast, have you uh, keep yourself accountable? I, I normally like to say in three months' time. So when I go back, okay. I diary things, and in three months' time, need to at least to put some 
demos in place and made some decisions. Love and it. then I say six months to implement something. It's usually what I, I work on. Brilliant. Absolutely love that. If you, I think if you set too short a deadline, the chances are you miss it and think, oh, well, I've missed it, so I won't do it now. Yeah. Or you do what is really dangerous in this industry where we just put something in there, don't really understand it yeah. fully. And then we get frustrated because it's not doing X, Y, Z, but that's yeah. because we weren't 100% sure of the software itself. We didn't no. know all the features, no. right? No, no. So you, you I think really, you're right. You've you got to really time. do a deep dive and, and learn what it is first. Yeah. So don't expect anything too quickly. Love it. Love it. Great advice. Great advice. Okay. What's the best swag you've had of the event so far? Sorry, the best? Swag. Swag. I haven't really had too much swag today. Okay. No, okay. I've, got a, I've got a very nice sage lunchbox I got at the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that, and, and it's about your sustainability talk, yeah. right? I feel like that's actually a positive this time yes. around. We, we're we accountants, we love swag, yeah. but also we don't want landfill. We don't want just, just. and I know that the accountants team have been really pushing that this yeah. year. Don't just do swag for the sake no. of it, do it for the right reasons. And I yeah. feel like that's that's right. Like the swag that people are talking about are just like these unique little things that yeah. I feel like people are going to remember by, and, and, we're, and, and a lot of thought has been put into yeah. them. Definitely. So I think that's for the better, isn't it, yeah. that we're having that yeah. conversation? Yeah, no, I think so. So I think very often you come home and there's bags and bags of swag. Yeah. And then three months' time, they're still sitting there in the bags. And it seems really exciting on the day, but it's not necessarily the, the be-all and end-all of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, that said, no. socks are really good, and I haven't managed any socks yet this year. No, I mean, Employment Hero do have some nice socks left, yeah. and I think that's all that's left. I did a walk round just before here, and it seems like, yeah, from a sock point of view, you've got hammock and... Yeah, but oh, I, I did I did pretty well at Digital Accountancy Show on socks. I did clean up on socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you put a LinkedIn post on it? I did, I yeah. did, yeah. And was it one of your best LinkedIn posts of the year? Yes, yeah. The socks, socks hashtag socks. Has, yeah, yeah. Socks, socks go well every time. Every time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're always a way to get that, boost your um, boost your engagement. Yeah. And, and you always need socks. So exactly, exactly. It's, it's not wasteful. It's win-win, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what do you love most about this industry? I love the collaboration. So... It, it's amazing. In theory, we're all in competition with each other. Yes, but yeah. I've had two or three different people that have come up to me been chatting and they're sort of using this software or that software, um, talking about problems that we've had. And it's all, you know, go and have a look at this. And everybody's just really helpful. It's lovely, yeah. lovely to see everybody. It is just like a meeting of friends. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. And I feel like that's definitely different from a while ago, was it? Yeah. I, I don't, I can't say what the date was or time, but there has been a shift now. And you're right, it is more collaborative than ever before. And that's what we need, right? I think I think for me it changed in COVID. I mean, I've been to yeah. every single account ex or every single London account ex since it started. And I used to go up, travel up on my own, chat to a few vendors, travel home on my own. Yeah. Might chat to the person in front of me in the coffee queue, but it, it you know, just passing the time of day and the weather. Yeah. And then now we, you can't get through the door. No. And then when <laughs> COVID started and we had to do more online things yeah. and Zoom and we got better at doing that. Somehow it's easier to make those connections online. Yeah. Then when we all gather, everybody can't wait to see each other in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. absolutely right. And it's for the better, right? Definitely. We've all learned more. We've all... And I feel like the biggest thing we've learned is that our problems are the same as everyone else. Or yeah. at least there's someone else who's got that similar problem. Yeah. And a problem shared and, and everything else. Right? Exactly. And we've all got a slightly different slant. So clients yeah. can still find somebody that they want to work with. And someone that wants to work with you might not want to work with me and vice versa. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so we can all just share and help each other out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely love it. All right. So that's what you love about the industry. But what would you change about the industry? Mm, what would I change? Um, I think there's a big divide with accountants and bookkeepers. Yes. Yeah. Um, which there doesn't need to be. So I'm a bookkeeper. I'm a member of the ICB Advisory Council. And I think sometimes bookkeepers have a bit of a chip on their shoulder and they get put down by accountants or they yeah. allow themselves to be in that situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think accountants maybe need to realise that there are some really good, well-qualified bookkeepers out there. And without that good, solid bookkeeping, it's much harder for accountants to do the work. Agreed. And I think we need to work more together in partnership. Yeah. It's little things like representation on these vendors' boards and stuff, yeah. right? At the moment, it's very much, oh, let's get the accountants into these boards and stuff and make sure that they're, they're being heard about what their needs and wants are. But there's not always bookkeepers there as well. And no. actually, the bookkeepers are playing with the software more than the accountants well, most yeah. of the time. So. Yeah, and it's it's like if you if you break your leg, you go and see an orthopedic surgeon. You wouldn't yeah. go and see a gynecologist. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and we just have different skill sets. So the bookkeepers are really good at the day-to-day -day detail, picking up on those things, looking at yeah. the software and the apps. Whereas the accountants are good at getting that broad brushstroke approach at the end of the year, pulling everything together, 
and looking at that longer term goal. And I think we need to have a lot more, less competition in the industry and more collaboration between accountants and bookkeepers. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, absolutely on top of that. Um, and hopefully that's what we can do. Like, mm. let's have those conversations. Let's talk about it. Let's get more people on those boards. Yeah. And, yeah, that's how it will be. What's your ideal client? My ideal client, um, someone who's keen on the environment and sustainability. Brilliant, brilliant. I tend to work with smaller businesses. I really enjoy working with startups. Yeah. Um, people who are going to listen to my advice. If it's a client who's just going to go off and do something, and when you ask for the receipts, they just can't be asked and can't be bothered to put it in. Yeah. And when you suggest that something might be a good idea, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, and then they just ignore it. I find those clients really, really frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got to work with them, right? Yeah, like Clients where I become part of their team, we engage, and we've, we've just got a bit of symbiosis. Yeah, that, that's the... That's they're that. the ones I enjoy working with. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And they're the ones that the whole point of being in the profession's for, isn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. Yeah. We say this all the time. Like, we're not really, we don't really enjoy filing VAT returns, do we? Like, that's not really part of it. But helping a client go from X to yeah. Y or implementing a new solution or making yeah. their life easier, that's yeah. what it's all about. Having, right? having those deep conversations with them, the ones who just want you to file the VAT return and not have the conversation. I love having a chat. I love having the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the clients I can really get involved with and be part of their team. Love it. Love it. Okay. Tech stack is a huge part of the accounting industry now. For you, what's that one bit of tech stack that you couldn't live without? That Maybe if you could go back X amount of years with a time machine, you'd say, right, start using this from day one. Now, it doesn't have to be just accounting related. It could be an app on your phone, mm. social media, whatever. Have you got something that the audience out there should be considering to yeah. start using? I think when you start up, you need to have good pricing software. And you need to have good practice management software. Yeah. And I think in practice management software, I've just moved myself. And there are lots of different practice management software out there in the market. I wouldn't say any of them are any better than any others. But you need it's really important to find one that's going to work for you and yep. your practice. So it depends if you're a sole practitioner on your own, if you've got a team working for you. Um, you need to, so I think you need to first of all work out exactly what it is that you want from that software. And then go and have a look and find the software that's going to do that for you. Agreed. And I think everybody right at the beginning should put practice management software in place. Yeah, from day one, isn't it? And I think it's much easier if you start at the beginning when you haven't got very many clients. That's the time. And people say they can't afford it. They can't afford practice management software. You need to get it in place right yeah. at the beginning, getting those deadlines in. And it, it enables you to give much better client service. And then pricing, hourly pricing, definitely not. Get something where you can do fixed pricing, clear and transparent, same across for every single client. Yeah, 100%, 100%. And also, I think, you know, what I found with practice management, a good practice management solution, because they are so now looking to integrate with XYZ, that's opened me up to other software that's been really yeah. useful, right? Like, it becomes a snowball effect, doesn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. And, and what I like about good software is they'll, they'll almost leave that little that little bell or that little feature that yes. until you sign up with XYZ, yeah. which you probably can trust because everyone else is using it, right? Yeah. And then they'll have that little thing. And that's how I've gone, oh, I can completely change. I'm doing yeah. my AML or my, yeah. you know, capturing bank statements, whatever it's going to be, right? Yeah. And I feel that's another great reason for practice management. Definitely, isn't it? yeah. So I would definitely say to anyone starting up, get your practice management software in place, get your pricing in place, make sure that you know your value and you get your price. Don't be afraid to charge good prices at the start. Yeah. Think where you want to be. Imagine if you're going to take on staff, you need to be able to afford to take the staff on. You need to be afford, able to afford to grow. Yeah. And you need to be able to afford the tech and the software that's going to enable you to do the job. Yeah. Remember that great. you're running a business. You're not doing a job. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Great advice. Okay. So that's your tech stack. What, what about AI? I know AI for some of the vendors out here has become a bit of a buzzword, a bit of a marketing spin, a bit of a everything else. But what's your overall feel? Are you worried about AI? Do you want to embrace AI? Are you optimistic by the future of it? What's your thoughts on it? I love AI. I, I think it's a bit like when cloud software came in, yes. everybody said bookkeeping was going to be dead. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. You know, yeah. the software is going to do it all. We're not going to need yeah. bookkeepers. It's all, You're just going to press a button and it's all going to happen. And yet now we embrace it and it gives us so much more ability to serve our clients well and to have those good conversations. And I think AI is the same. I yeah. think if we use it correctly and we use it cleverly, then I think it's just going to be a tremendous advantage to us. Completely agree. Completely agree. Yep, glad. And I've, I'm just excited where it's going to go, mate. I still feel like at the moment we're kind of blinded by a lot of buzzwords, but I think 
behind the scenes, there's going to be some clever stuff coming yeah. out, which, like you said, is going to help us help our clients. And that's what yeah, it's all about. I, tried, right? I, I needed to put a new line on my engagement letter. Mm. So I just put some things into, I was, thinking, I was struggling with the wording, put some stuff into, into chat GPT, and it came up and gave me some great ideas. That yep. was then a really good starting that's point. That's your template, right? It gave me a template. Brilliant. And I think it's still important not to lose your own voice. Yeah. Don't just copy and paste from me. Oh, like, no, yeah, yeah. Um, but... I'm, I'm much happier with numbers yeah. and with words. If I can just get a platform that I can start on with the words, that gives you a much, you know, springboard yeah. to go further ahead. So I couldn't agree. I think we're all the same in that boat, aren't we? Yeah. All the same. Okay. So <laughs> this question's definitely been brought by producer Lizzie. <laughs> How did you discover us? I feel, feel like she's got some sort of marketing thing at the back where she's sticking this. <laughs> So I discovered RC Accountant through my very good friend, Kirsty, who I believe is your number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> and if we got through this without a name check for Kirsty, exactly, I think she would have been, so yeah, Kirsty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I want to talk to Kirsty on a Monday morning, it's no good when, when you guys are on. <laughs> so, and then she talks about it. So now I need to listen in the morning so that I know what Kirsty's talking about in the afternoon. So. Brilliant. Um, so, and yeah, he's got to be honest. The mouth, best to prefer, you know, that there is going really. So yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Um, and she's got to be on here soon, so keep an eye out for Definitely. Kirsty on the pod. And then this is your moment then. So what would you like to plug or push? Or have you got another talk coming up? Have you? Is there a, is there a social platform you want people to follow you on? This is your moment. You've got that camera, that yep. camera, that camera. Whichever camera works for you. Okay. This is your moment just to, to plug, plug, and plug some more. Lovely. So well, if you want to connect with me, you can find me on LinkedIn. Um, I do a weekly bookkeeping tips from the beach video and we're going into winter now. So if you want to see me freeze and try and remember my tax tips and bookkeeping tips and get them done in one take on my GoPro, because I'm not doing more than one take when it's only one degree in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, I do upload them to TikTok, but probably the best place to connect would be LinkedIn or Instagram. Amazing. So. Amazing. And I hope everyone goes out there and gives them a follow. Thank you. I really enjoyed that. I mean, yeah, we've, we've flown through the questions, but that's what it's all about. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for liking, and subscribing, and all that sort of stuff. Don't forget you're already in the right place. If you want more content like this, especially from Manchester, then make sure you join and subscribe because we've got loads more content coming your way. Thank you, Penelope. Lovely. That's been absolutely brilliant. Lovely. Thank and we'll you. see you soon. Thank, thank you. Take Thanks. Care. Bye. Thanks. Bye.